I kind of threw myself part of the way on the on the street because I remember how hot it was and it was burning my arms. This is where Robert Rolando thought he would take his last breath. I didn't think I was going to make it. I thought that was it. That this is where I'm going to die. On Monday, the 63-year-old was in his backyard when a yellow jacket stung him in the face. But I started breaking out in, in hives and I knew I was in trouble. He stumbled through the house. The whole room started spinning and then I, my throat choked up. I couldn't breathe. Ending up in the street where he tried to get help. And I waved at them and they just kept going. They didn't stop. But that was until two men in a pickup truck stopped and called 911. One of them stood by me and helped me and said, you're going to be all right. Rolando doesn't remember their names or even what they look like, but has now made it his mission to find them. As soon as Robert got out the hospital, he put up this sign on the back of his car, hoping that this would help him track down the men that saved his life so he could thank them in person. On the sign, he asked the men to stop by and even writes thank you. He says he's also working on a sign to put in his front yard. If it wasn't for them, I probably wouldn't be here today. A message he wants to get out any way he can. Somehow the word will get around and, and hopefully it will get you know, to them. In Greensboro, Kim Wynn, Fox 8 News.